Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Mark is here with you for Arcade Economics. And today we did have some news out from First Majestic Silver as they have released their fourth quarter and year end production numbers, also offering guidance on 2024. So let us dig in here where we see that First Majestic had silver equivalent production of 6.6 .6 million ounces, with the breakdown being 2.6 million ounces of silver. 46,585 ounces of gold. And the total production for the year leaves them at 26.9 million silver equivalent ounces, which is right in the midpoint of the 26.2 to 27.8 million ounce range with a breakdown there of 10.3 million ounces of silver, 198,921 ounces of gold. And the 6.6 .6 million silver equivalent ounces in that fourth quarter was a 6% increase compared to the 6.3 million silver equivalent in the third quarter, which came largely from record quarterly production at Santa Elena, where they had 3 million silver equivalent ounces and that was offset slightly by lower silver production at La Encantada due to limited water availability. And as I mentioned, there was an increase in production at Santa Elena, which did set a new quarterly production record there based on strong metal recoveries and grades from Ermitaño and represented a 13% increase compared to the third quarter. And First Majestic does currently have 16 drill rigs active, and they completed 32,881 meters of drilling across their Mexican mines in the fourth quarter. First Majestic's silver production of 10.3 million ounces was slightly below their revised guidance of 10.5 to 11.2 million ounces. And that was based on lower silver production in the second half at La Encantada, whereas the gold production came in at 198,921 ounces, which did meet their revised guidance range and was closer to the upper end of that range. And another one of the highlights for First Majestic in the past year was that they did announce the launch of their 100% owned and operated minting facility, which is going to allow them to sell a lot more of their silver directly to the market. And here we have a note from Keith Newmeyer, the president and CEO of First Majestic, who we did catch up with a couple of weeks ago on the show. And I'll link to that video at the end so you can hear more from Keith there. But mention his quote here that First Majestic had a strong and positive 2023 despite the challenges endured earlier in the year at Jared Canyon. Notes that Santa Elena had a seller year as they reached that record 9.6 million ounces of silver equivalent production. And that's been benefiting from the investments they've made at Santa Elena over the last couple of years. And obviously he's quite happy with that. And taking a quick look at the production based by each mine, we have San Dimas, where there were 3.1 million silver equivalent ounces, breakdown of 1.5 million ounces of silver, 18,468 ounces of gold, the mill process 215,000 tons of ore with silver and gold grades at 234 grams per ton and 2.77 grams per ton respectively. Silver and gold recoveries during the quarter were 93 and 96% respectively. And in that fourth quarter, they had a total of 12 drill rigs running at San Dimas, completing 24,932 meters of drilling. Santa Elena, where they did have that quarterly production record, that broke down to 582,000 ounces of silver, 28,000 ounces of gold, which gave them a 67% increase in silver production, 1% decrease in gold. Their mill process, 233,601 tons of ore with average silver and gold head grades of 106 grams per ton and 3.88 grams per ton respectively. Recovery rates of 73% on the silver side, 96% on the gold side. And they had four drill rigs complete 7,949 meters of drilling. And at La Encantada, they were impacted by limited water supply to the mill, which was caused by drought conditions in 2023, which led them in the third and fourth quarters to drill a total of three exploration and production holes in an effort to source additional water. And they have several new targets that they'll be drilling for additional water sources in the first and second quarters here in 2024. Production breakdown at La Encantada was 516,000 ounces of silver, the mill processed 203,898 tons of ore, and stoke production from the new Becca zone has contributed 48,811 tons with an average silver grade of 121 grams per ton. 
and First Majestic is going to be taking a conservative approach in the guidance on production and cost at Lot and Gandata because while they believe that they will be able to find that new water source, the timing of that is not currently known at the moment. So heading into 2024, in terms of the guidance they're offering for production there, comes in at 21.1 to 23.5 million silver equivalent ounces breaking down to 8.6 to 9.6 million ounces of silver and 150,000 to 167,000 ounces of gold. And we can see in the chart here in terms of production cost guidance for 2024, looking at $13.69 to 1446 in terms of company-wide cash cost and 1862 to 1990 in terms of all in sustaining costs. And when factoring in the GNA, they are looking at a 1932 to 2068 consolidated all in sustaining cost. And in 2024, they're also looking at 125 million in capital expenditures with a breakdown of 45 million for sustaining activities, 80 million for expansionary projects. And of those capital investments, they're looking at 66 million for underground development. 21.9 million towards property, plant, and equipment, 35 million in exploration, and 2 million towards corporate innovation. And they are planning to complete 30,900 meters of underground development in 2024, as compared to 34,000 in 2023. And in terms of the drilling, they're looking at 188,500 meters of exploration drilling in 2024, which is a significant increase to the 143,500 meters that were completed in 2023. At San Dimas, they're looking at 95,000 meters of drilling with infill step out and exploratory holes focused on near mine and brownfield targets, which represents a balanced approach to adding inferred resources along known veins, converting inferred to indicated resources and identifying new veins. Santa Elena, they're targeting 59,000 meters of drilling and the greenfield and brownfield drilling at Santa Elena will focus on new targets within a five kilometer radius around the processing plant where the goal is to find a new mineralized vein. And they'll also be testing updated targets and resource addition and conversion drilling. At Jarrett Canyon, they're looking at approximately 25,000 meters of drilling that will be focused on drilling open ends of the inferred mineralization with large volume potential as well as testing the projections of the ore controlling structures below the outcropping upper plate where the presence of large mineralized volumes is possible. And lastly, at Lot and Gandata, they're looking at 9,500 meters of drilling to search for new mineralized brush of body, as well as to extend and de-risk some of the known veins. So that's what we are looking at in terms of Q4 production and the guidance for 2024. Also want to pass along that the earnings and dividend announcement will be out in just a little bit over a month on February 22nd of this year. I'll leave the link to this press release in the description field below so you, you can take a closer look at some of these details. But just wanted to pass that along. Hope you're doing well out there today and I will see you again soon.